Yes, I'm well aware that Halloween has gone, but two things. One, I love Halloween, so it's Halloween all year in my house. And two, I was in hospital with the COVID, so please forgive me. Hey guys, it's LJ here, and today we are back with another Halloween. Sorry, I really do love Halloween. It's like my favourite, favourite holiday. And I have this really cute little cauldron shaker with the bone sticking out this is it uh it's, it's, yeah. <sighs> i'm stumbling over my words i'm that excited i'm so looking forward to making loads and loads of these little things um and then i'm thinking about what to use for the filler and i've got a few little ideas that i'll show you during the video so i hope you enjoy okie dokie so i'm going to use this green and this white to create our cauldron and um I don't quite know what happened, but I me messed up my quantities on this resin, but seemingly only with the green and the white. I did a big batch and I made a couple of different things, and this one refused to set. I ended up having to put it in the freezer and pop it out. So when I did the remolding of it, I added a little extra, which you'll see at the end. So I've just filled my mold, the white in the bone area, the green everywhere else, blast it with the heat gun and leave it for 24 hours. Then we're going to pop it out and I'll see if any of you keen eyed viewers can spot the difference. But I did make a change when I redid it. Um, so the first one wouldn't come out of the mould, it was sticking horrible so I did re-pour it. And I just did a little bit of red on that drippy section because I thought it looked quite cute. And then I would picked a load of different bits that I wanted to add in so I chose a few of them and popped them inside the cauldron. I thought four was quite a nice number because the star and the eye are both quite large. So I'm going to be using this UV resin and I have some shaker film and then using a dry wipe pen, so basically a whiteboard marker um, because it rubs off the acetate really easily. I'm just drawing the outline of the cauldron where I want it and I have checked that I'm drawing on the side with the picky label. So I've cut it to size, make sure it fits perfectly on the cauldron, trim anything off and then we're ready to attach it. So I'm going to use some UV resin and I'm just going to apply a very, very small amount along the outside edge. So I'm going to put it on that drippy bit so it sticks down there because what you don't want is anything getting caught in between there. And then all around the edges, everywhere except for that tiny spot on the bottom where you add your oil because this is going to be a wet shaker. So I'm just smoothing that round with my little sort of flat toothpick tool putting a very small layer on. I'm going to then hide that behind the bottle because I don't want it to cure in the cup. Adding my acetate on the top, pushing it all down, making sure it fits. And then we're going to do a little bit of a flash cure. So all that means is I hold it down and I use my little UV torch just so that it starts sticking to the acetate. This is not going to secure it completely. This is just to make sure that it is stuck down all around. There's no air bubbles. And then I pop it under the lamp for mm, three to five minutes once that's done you have two options i prefer to do it this way so i put on a layer of resin as a dome a very thin layer while it's still got no liquid in it and i find that this works well for me personally but you can add the oil before you put this in what i find is that i haven't always sealed it correctly if I put the oil in first whereas adding this doming layer albeit a very thin layer it just gives an extra level of security and makes it a bit more firm for when you put the oil in it doesn't leak everywhere or crack or break so I popped any bubbles with my lighter and again that's going to go under the heat lamp for three to five minutes just to make sure that it is not tacky now comes the oil now i've put my oil in this small little bottle just because it's got a precision tip and it makes it easier so i've put that in through the hole at the bottom and then i'm just squeezing the oil into the cavity and for some reason it didn't want to come out i've wiped it down and then we're just going to pop it back in and it fills up really quickly and then you need to wipe this down completely UV resin will not cure if there is any oil left. Then you're going to plug up the hole. So I put some UV resin on, flash cured it with my torch, popped it under the light just for a minute. And then I'm going to do another doming layer. 
and I'm also going to do a little domed layer between the legs because when you stop at that hole sometimes you can get a little bump now it is hidden on this because it's on the base of the cauldron but still I'm going to do a little cure just between the legs a little doming layer down there as well as this top doming layer just to finish it off and give everything a nice smooth finish so you get rid of all the oil cure it and then we're done we are back to have a look at our finished cauldron shaker so for this one i added a couple of charms i added my witch and broomstick and the smaller silver cauldron and here is our so if I just wobble it around, we have got oil in this one, so everything flows nicely. I didn't put too much in. So we have this star, which glows in the dark. So let me just charge that up for you. There we go, there's our glowing star. So we've got a star that glows in the dark. We have a little purple coffin, silver bat and the eyeball. When I made this one, I did do the red bit here to look as if it was like maybe red... Could be blood, could be just part of the potion, could be anything coming over just to give it a bit extra. And then we did our bone in silver. So yeah, I absolutely love this one. I think it is so super cute and I love, love the way it came together in the end. So yes, thank you very, very much for spending time with me today, guys. Keep crafting and I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs> um... So I couldn't control myself because it was so cute, so I made some extras. So I'd show them to you now. So I did this other oil-filled wet shaker, which I love. So this one has an orange coffin, pumpkin head, a little pumpkin sticker on top, some glow-in-the-dark moons, which I'll show you in a second, a little silver ghost, and some pearls. So let's give this a quick charge up so that you can see the little moons that glow so there's that one I do love that one with a little pumpkin sticker on the top again the white bone now this one I did mess up ever so slightly um, as you can see the bone is slightly further back from this rim because when I poured it in, the purple flowed over the bone area, so I had to sand that bit back. But I quite like it, because if you look at it from the top, it looks a bit more realistic, because the, the bone is further back than the edge of the cauldron. So I quite like that one. I did a, another oil-based shaker. So in here we've got the cat face, a bone, and a coffin in orange, some pearls, and a little silver spider web. Again, with our white bone I don't know that anything goes in this one. Oh, yep there are some little moons in there as well I wondered I'm trying to put glow in the dark things in all of them really so there's the little moons in that one and then finally I did a dry shaker so this one does not have any oil in so you can hear everything moving around this is also quite translucent. You can see um, the back through the... You can see through the back. Oh, words. Um, so in this one, we have got a little skull sticker on the drippy bit. I've got some pearls, the spider web, a silver coffin, this purple skull and crossbones, and then a little black heart, and I believe some of the little moons. Yes. Some of the little moons which are here which I think are super cute so um, yeah <laughs> these were the extra ones that I did because well I have no self control basically I haven't turned those into key rings yet but I may well do so like I did with this one um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed these again apologies for being late i know it is november but yay for a useless immune system keep crafting guys and i'll see you all soon bye <laughs>